In this video, I'm gonna talk about three common problems I see people run into with the Zeiss Duramax running Calypso 2021. So the first, say you walk up to a machine, I just turned it on, turned the motor drives on, opened up Calypso, and because you know it's initializing, it's gonna to wanna to go home. So there's a dialogue right here. Normally you press okay, it'll go to the, the back corner and up, you know, establish home, and then it's good to go. Now, the problem is, and some of you probably already see this, we're already up in that corner. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna try to go a little bit over, it's gonna make a little uh, squeaky sound, a noise, and then it's gonna stop and throw up a whole bunch of errors, which you may have seen before. So I'm gonna hit okay here. It makes a little sound. Now it turns the drives off automatically. I'm gonna hit okay here. And then this is the error some of you may have seen. Warning, CMM data not found and some other stuff. What we have to do is get it out of that corner and then reinitialize the connection. So there's two ways to do this. The first, which I don't recommend as much, is that you physically grab it and move it over about two inches. You can do it you know, left, right, and then pull it toward you, and then pull the probe down. Now, for obvious reasons, if there's any other way to do it, you don't want to be manhandling the machine. So the other way to do this is to turn our motor drive back on. We won't go to green light because it's just going to throw another error and we're gonna drive it down in super snail mode. So I'm gonna pull this all the way down and move this diagonal. So it's going down very slow and toward me very, very slow. So you wanna move it, say about two inches down, two inches to the right and two inches uh, toward me in this case for it to be in the right position to go home again. Now it's probably imperceptibly slow, but this thing is moving. And that's probably about all we need. Maybe that took, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay on that error code. My motor drives are on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit okay on this warning for my motor drives. And before I go to green light, I'm gonna hit this button right here to reinitialize the connection. Hit okay there can reinitialize the connection and it's gonna ask me to send it home again. Here we go. So it's in a clear position. I'm gonna hit okay. Now it's got enough room to go home. It'll do that. And now it's all ready to go. But where I see this a lot is somebody will finish using the machine. They'll drive it all the way up in the corner, turn the machine off. The next person will you know, get started. They'll hit home and it'll throw that code. Now the easiest way to avoid any of this is when you walk up to the machine before you go to go home while well, you got a green traffic light, just drive it out of the way of that corner. And then when you're done using the machine, just don't leave it all the way parked in that far corner. You know, just about two inches out in all three directions is, is fine and it won't throw that code. But the, the no CAD data seems to, no CMM data seems to really throw people for a loop, but that's all you gotta do to fix that problem. Okay, so for the next, say you're gonna go start to write a program, whether you're going from the CAD model or walk up and measure, Right, you drive your probe down and we're gonna probe a point on the top of this part. All right, and it doesn't do anything. I'll drive it in the middle. All right, it should beep and give you a little CAD entity up here. You know, one point, two points make a line, three points make a plane. But in this case, it's just a dud, right? Not doing anything. What causes this, the machine is in simulation. So there's two ways to get to it, to get it out of simulation. The first, we can go to the CMM tab, CMM settings, and right here we can see that simulation only is checked. The other way to get to it is extras, settings, CMM, and it brings it to the exact same screen. Okay. So I'm gonna uncheck simulation only, and then this is important, you gotta hit that big giant connect button right below it. I'm gonna hit connect, I give it a couple seconds to do the connection and then we'll hit OK down here after it's done uh, connecting. All right, 
So now when we go in to take a point, it'll beep, right? We go and take another point. We've got a line, et cetera, et cetera. It's ready to go. Now, I see that happen all the time. Somebody will be on one of these machines. They'll be programming in simulation so that you know the machine's not gonna uh, move on you. And then they forget to turn it back on, right? That's how we fix that one. Now, the next one I wanna talk about, if you don't have any defaults, uh, any default strategies, which none of our machines at the college do, You've got to assign your strategies manually. And what that means is, say we import a CAD file real quick. Say we're gonna do an alignment for this and we wanna do a, you know, a manual alignment. So we're gonna go up here to alignment. I'm gonna do define select geometry. And I'm gonna click on the planes I want for the alignment. I'm gonna establish my clearance planes, hit okay. And now say I just wanted to do a manual alignment, right? When I hit execute run now, it's not gonna do anything. Same thing when I go, say I just wanted to execute a feature, plane one, execute. It's not gonna do anything. Right here, it's gonna say feature has not been defined completely. What that means is if you notice in our feature here, it's white, that means there's no strategy. I'm gonna double click strategy and I just want to add some arbitrary points here to get something in for the strategy. Now another thing if I go in and start clicking right it's not going to do anything. Now, this is subtle but the reason is right down here it's on select already extracted features. We want it to be on define points so look for this little red dot right down here and now I can come in and click a couple points and hit OK. Right, and see how that one turned gray. I would do the same for all three. And now I can go in and it'll try to execute it. Of course, it's not gonna execute anything because you know, it doesn't know where the part is, but to get it to run, it needs a strategy for every feature that it needs to run. And in this case for the alignment, they all need some kind of strategy. Now, while we're here, I might as well uh, do this. If you go to resources, save load defaults. Oh, and let me uh, kill this program real quick. So resources, save load defaults, strategy. You can do a default strategy for all sorts of different features. So right here in planes, I could say I want a grid. And I could even go in and say, hey, I want, uh, you know, 100 points on every grid I do. Hit OK, hit OK, hit OK. And now if I go in and create another plane, say on this side of the part, plane four, it's already going to have a strategy, open this grid up with 100 points. And you can save those settings and reuse them over and over. It could be a real uh, time saver especially if a lot of the parts you're doing are the same. So for something like a cylinder, maybe you only want two circle paths or you need four circle paths. You can do that all in the save load defaults and not have to go in and change every single strategy individually. So that's all I had for this video. Just three common problems I see at the college. You know, we teach this class as advanced, advanced dimensional metrology. Uh, you know, we've got 12 Zeiss Duramax machines in this room, so I get to see a lot of people using these and running into problems. So, uh, you know, probably a little bit different from a company where you maybe have one machine and one or two people that run it all the time. I see a lot of people who have never run one of these machines ever, and they're learning from the very beginning. So these problems crop up a lot. So hopefully they were helpful for you. If you have any others or any better ways to do it than I uh, did in this video, please leave in the, the comments and uh, let, please like and uh, subscribe the video.